I'm here at the IFA in Berlin with the Star VR1. Yes, here it is, the wide FOV headset, 210 degrees FOV headset. And I'm going to try this out now for the very, very first time. And as you can imagine, I'm truly excited. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. So I went all the way to Berlin to the IFA 2018 in order to try out the Star VR One. This is the Star VR One wide FOV headset and you know what? Let's directly go into it. Let's check this out. The Star VR1, All this right. is the new VR headset that we've announced two weeks ago at Seagraph. Exactly. Um, we've remained secret for quite a while because we spent a lot of time in engineering and developing this new product. I'm very excited to try it out now. Yeah, so the reason why we have two demonstrations here is because uh, this is a product that we, are, we have designed from the ground for commercial VR, All business right. to business. Yes, but we arcades. Wanna, yeah, exactly, but we want to show that, that in the way of how we are designing and presenting the product, we want it to work like a consumer product, okay. to be user friendly. Got so it. we're gonna start by showing you a first demo All right. of a content that you may have tried a dozen of times, which is called Perhaps. the lab. The lab, okay, yeah. Valve. It's but good to start with the lab. Yeah, but the lab is, it's Valve. So it's, it's great. It's yeah, great. Yeah. So we're gonna start with, um, with the lab and, and we're gonna see how you react to what we're bringing Okay. Stavia, okay. So I'm very excited. You know the experience. I don't need to explain you how it works. Are you okay. comfortable? I'm. I'm comfortable. All right. Okay. So we've made a headset which is lightweight, only 450 grams. Okay. I know what you're doing here right now. Okay. So what we've done right now is that we've put you in the headset with a narrow field of view that is representing this tunneled vision that we have with other consumer VR products. Right. Right. Okay. I know. So, so what I see. What I see right now, dear, um, dear viewers. So I see the lab, but it is like um, just like the, the normal um, 110 degrees. So everything around there is black. So I'm going to hand over to you the two controllers. And I'm going to ask you to do one thing. It's to position the controllers in front of your head. Okay. And find like the this? limit of your vision with them. Right now. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm not sure that they okay, are like outside of your vision. Okay. Now they're outside of, my, of, of this restricted vision. No, no, you have to put them in the limit of your vision where you... I mean, what I see right now, yeah. because you limited it arti artificially. Not artificially, it's just 110 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> happen up and switch to the star VR mode. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, like... Yeah, I think like this. Okay, okay. this is beautiful. This is indeed beautiful. This is really, this is really, really a nice FOV. Wow. Okay. I, I see what you, what you, what you're saying here. Wow. So this is indeed a huge field of view. It's, so if we have to translate that in numbers that people can understand, when you get in the headset and you look straight, we cover hundred percent of your, of your field of view. With the eye rotation, it's around 95%. Okay. Nice. Yeah, right. This is indeed a very, very nice field of view. Also, also vertically. Yes, it's 100 and, 130 degrees vertically. Okay, let me put this a, a bit close, stronger. Okay, wow. So well, basically, basically, gonna... basically, I only, I only see screen right now. It's tough to see like any edges, like in normal, normally. In headsets, you see lots of edges, right? But now it feels like I'm completely in virtual reality. The only black thing that I still see is probably here down, downstairs, but up, I only see screen. Right and left, I only see screen. Down, I see, I still see a bit of black if I look down. But, but, that's, your nose. but that's my nose, yeah, exactly. That's my nose. <laughs> you have a black nose. I have a black <laughs> nose, yeah. Wow, so this is, this is truly. This is the Savio. So let me just give them my very first impression. I think I already told you my very first impression. So in terms of field of view, it like it kills anything that's on the market. It kills the X tile and I might say it also kills the Pimax. And um, yeah, everything is basically screen, just as if you if you're there 
in reality. Really, the only thing, if you look a bit down, you okay, then you see the nose probably. But um, it is, um, I can just say it's the best VR experience I've, until now I've ever had. So I would like to see what else you got there. <laughs> something slightly better. Okay, wow. Where, you look at, where your eyes are looking at. Oh my it's god. Not at the center of the display, it's where your eyes are looking. Okay. So that, that's the really important thing for dating right now. Okay, this is without a doubt the best thing that I've ever seen in VR. This is, this is crazy. This is getting so close to, okay, I'm standing here. I'm really standing here on the street now next to this car. This is truly, truly incredible. So. So the thing is normally for the high FOV headsets, if you look right and left, you will see lots of distortion going on. But this is not happening here. Oh, you have a great distortion profile, really. Also looking up and down. No, I'm in the car. I'm truly in the car and there's... No, I would be hard pressed to see any distortion right now. All right. So have a look at the, now have a look at the textures. Look at the seat behind you and look at the quality of the textures and the quality of the leather. You can see the stitches. Yeah. Right. Look at the ceiling. You can almost feel the material. Yes. This is cool. This is really cool. I can see right now I am in this uh, car, in this Porsche, and um, the thing that, that really blows you away when you are in the Star VR 1 is, first of all, the field of view. It's like, it's, um, I, I, I didn't expect this to be like this. So when they say, hey, we're close to normal human, I, co I totally agree. Because here, actually, I don't feel anymore that I'm that I'm wearing some kind of um, goggles or something that we have in other headsets. It, it just feels like it would without the headset, which is pretty scary. <laughs> it's, people will to will get totally lost in this, totally. Then for up, also just like if I look up with my with my eyes right now, it feels like my normal vision. Okay, down, like I said, I can still see. I can still see um, the edge here of the screen. This is the only thing right now which kind of takes me a bit out, which kind of a bit would make me feel like, okay, there's still something on here. But I believe, no, I don't believe, I know, this is the very best VR headset that I've ever worn. And it, I must really say, it completely kills all the competition that's on the market right now, or not on the market yet. This is crazy. And especially now that um, that my IPD is especially um, was was measured by the by the eye tracking, and that the distortion profile has been set up. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't see distortion. I really. This I'm hard pressed to see any distortion. This is really good. So when my IPD was not measured correctly in the first in the first demo. I could still see a bit the world a bit moving with me when I was looking left and right. But right now, after they have done the, the, the IPD adjustment and adjusting the distortion profile, this is unbelievable. This is really good. So um, what do I see in terms of, in terms of screen door effect? Hard pressed to see any. It's, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. And the 16 million subpixels, they do show. So is this the best picture I've ever seen in VR? I would say so. I would certainly say so. And even though if you just look at the resolution, this does not win against others who have a high resolution. But as we know already, the, the picture in VR is not just the resolution, it's about the optics, it's about the panel, it's about the, te the panel technology. So um, yeah, Star VR 1 kills it in every detail right now. And um, yeah, this is 
this is the clear winner winner of this early kind of yeah wide wide field of view headsets there's no doubt about it it's, it's really it's just like such a big difference to the other headsets that i've tried before and yeah people will totally people will love this people will want this at home that's the point people will want this at home yeah i'm here with damien from star vr and well um, damien has just um, demoed the star vr one to me and well as you have probably seen right now from my reaction i loved it you loved it yeah i loved Glad it. You enjoyed it no I, I really enjoyed it and uh, i can really tell the difference because i've tried all headsets and um, yeah this is without a doubt the best experience in vr that i ever had so congratulations to that thank one you first. very much <laughs> thank you very much so um I'm sure that uh, all the MRTV viewers will be super excited about the device. When can they check it out in the arcades for the first time? We haven't communicated yet about the launch date. Okay. But we are working with multiple partners on bringing content and experiences to okay. the arcades. Okay, great. So you're but working soon. now with soon. 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 Check our website. Okay, we're going to look at your website. And uh, soon means 2018-ish or... <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I cannot comment. <laughs> okay. I cannot comment. But All soon, right. soon we're going to give information about the pricing and the launch date. All right. So um, rumor has it, <laughs> rumor has it that you might also sell that to individuals. Um, we are <laughs> not going to restrict um, individuals to, to buy it. To buy it. So everyone can buy it if they have Every enough money. We will make it available to everyone. We're targeting enterprise clients okay, first. First, first. This is where this we want to go. Yeah. Um, we did not restrict ourselves to bringing the best technology to yeah. create the Star VR One. Okay. Okay. But if some individuals wants to purchase it yeah. to use it at home, why restricting that? Yeah, you're right. And I, I have the slight feeling that you're a bit looking at this market as well because, well, it's. It's, uh, it's uh, Steam tracking, right? So people already have that at home. It's basically, it's uh, compatible with uh, Steam VR. So I have the feeling you, a bit you want to sell it to this high-end people that now I'm are looking sure, for the I'm Pimax sure that, 8K. I'm sure that some people <laughs> would be very, very happy to experience that, on yeah. that kind of premium VR experience. Right. But now you want to go into the enterprise first, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So, um, who do you think is the perfect customer for you right now? Like automotive? Um, space oh, yes this Automot kind of automotive is definitely one of the industry vertical where yeah. there is a need at the moment for a high end vr headset that is capable of delivering uh, what they need i mean yeah. to help them to work in vr and solve okay. their problems Got from it. design and visualization all the way to engineering to marketing and right. sales Got okay it. it's one market vertical aerospace it's pretty much the same thing but then you have engineering the reality today is that you have a lot of industries that are manipulating 3D assets and yes. need to use VR for taking decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay, So um, we imagine a near future where people are going to work, manipulate 3D assets, do their work on a 2D screen, validate in VR. Mm -hmm. Visualize what they did in 2D, yeah. but and you want to see it in... Visualize and take decisions in VR. Okay. I think that you... Uh, yeah, bring you it back. Like, you will <laughs> like about the Star VR headset is that we have two cables. Okay. You see this connection? Yeah. Let me open it for you. Okay. Tell me what it is. It's USB. Oh, it's Virtual Link. Is it USB C? Let's say USB C for the moment. Okay, all right. Virtual Link is just. Um, yeah, it's just a layer on it's top it's of it. It's just yeah. a layer on top of it. Exactly. But we're supportive of okay, that very nice. So very we're nice. Nobody thinking about the future. Sorry, can I see? This? Yes, please. Um, so yeah, basically, um, there's nothing that would stop you to to add some kind of wireless module probably. In the future, right? In the because, future. Because you don't. I mean, the resolution is not so high, so you can actually you could easily put it. And what I have to say, it's also not heavy. It's very lightweight. It's, it's actually it's 450 quite light. Grams. Four, 450 grams. So the interesting part is it's also not as bulky as other, as other um, wide FOV headsets, even though this has truly a wider FOV. I, was, I must say I was really um, surprised. When, when, I, when I read that 210 degrees, 
I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably no, but uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> so well, I'm glad I'm glad that so, you're saying this because yeah, it's, it's very difficult to explain what is a star VR experience. Yeah, you know, we can yeah. we can write it, we can promote it yeah. until people have people, tried it. Yeah, they no cannot really. realize what it's like. So life like VR. Exactly. So that's why I tried it for you to tell you it is it is true, and I was not paid off by those guys. Or do you want to give me that to bring home? No, but I'll, I'll pay you a beer. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that is very good. Um, yeah, so this it's light. It has um, the, the Steam, VR Steam VR Valve tracking 2.0 built into it. And what has really surprised me is that you told me that you've been working on these lenses for two and a half years. Yes. And um, the, the lens manufacturing was hand in hand with the OLED panel manufacturing, right? Yes. So basically everything was done for this headset. It's not like yes. you bought some no. some Sony um, panels. No. You made it for this. Yes. Nice. Actually, this um, it's a three-way adjustment. Okay. So when you turn the knob, it's not just uh, this side. So we also take in this side, so it gets really good stability. Stability, yes. okay. So it's Can you a come a bit more pattern, close? Yeah. yeah, sorry. So the design of the knob actually give you one turn that goes three ways. So you get the kind of uh, make sure that the balance of the whole headset is evenly distributed on the um, all, all over your head. Okay. So it's not just the side, but all three ways that we with one knob this we get. Oh get wow! Yeah. So it's very important. With only one knob, with with this one knob, you are adjusting like um, three three pieces of adjustment gear. Nice. Yeah, but really, I think the star of the show truly is the, the lenses. They they look. They they make the they make this incredible FOV FOV happen, and um, yeah. So people really want to know now how expensive is this going to be? Do I have to sell my liver for this? I mean, if you, <laughs> are, probably, if probably you want yes. to have the information now, <laughs> you will have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, no, we will but but you will communicate that. this probably in, the, in this year's the communication yes, about we, the price. Of course, of course. Okay. We will communicate very soon about the price point and about the launch date. Great. I think but we want we want first people to focus on what is the star of the RX. Okay, you just want to want to show them how incredible it is, so that they won't be so shocked about the price. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we for sure, so. we're gearing up for mass production. Yeah. Okay. So then probably okay. So um, the whole unit, how long did you work on this? Two and a half years as well, or oh, uh, more than that. Actually, more than the Star that. VR project is a is a project that started even in 2011. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, I know that you had the the, the old Star VR yes. device. So the, th the this previous one was a development kit. Okay, this is the, this is now your real thing. This is the real thing. But um, in the in the old one, you also had a wide FOV already, right? Yeah, we had a wide FOV which was 210 by 110, um, but but. The panels were not these panels. Okay. We were using off-the-shelf panels with limitation of only running at 60 hertz. But for us, it was a test bed to start developing everything around this headset. Okay, got it. Nice. So, so this is the vision straight from the beginning. All right. This Actually, is the, the vision. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the two guys behind the Star VR headset who started that project back in 2011, uh, they were part of the VR community, exchanging information in a very, very open forum. Community communicating with uh, with Palmer Lucky, yes. And and from the beginning, their vision, while everybody was concentrating on, on doing the right side around 100 degrees, 110, yeah. their vision was going large FOV. Got it. And wow. it took time to deliver it. And and it worked. This is the result, and I can I can just tell the viewers, this truly truly works. It's so far the best wide FOV headset I've seen, and actually the best VR headset. That I've seen. So let's hope that this is not going to be too expensive. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that's it for my hands-on time with the Star VR One. I'm truly happy that I had the chance to try this out. And well, as a summary, I can tell you again, this is without a doubt the best VR experience that I that I've ever had. The the FOV is unbelievable. They are not bullshitting you when they say it has 210 degrees FOV. There's hardly any screen door effect visible it looks so nice over the whole field of view um, I'm simply impressed and this kills everything that's out on the market right now and that will be on the market soon so wow I'm truly truly impressed hopefully this is going to come to the market very very soon you're going to hear more from Star VR soon when 
they're going to um, launch this and at what price hopefully it's not going to be too expensive because it seems they do sell to in individuals as well so there's hoping at least all right i hope that you enjoyed this video if yes give it a thumbs up and of course if you have not yet subscribed to MOTV yet do so now i'm looking forward to see you in the next video